Well, hello again, Dave Graybill, FishingMagician.com. I'm on Lake Chelan with my brother Rick Graybill again, and we're out here looking for Chinook salmon. If you caught our last video, Rick showed you some tips and tricks, and we landed a nice cane while we were out here doing it. Kind of a beauty. But I wanted to come back because there are a lot more details to this fishery to be consistently successful. And so I've got Rick back on board today, and we're going to talk things like brines, how to hook up a herring, a few other details like that that will really contribute to your success in the water fishing for a Chinook on Lake Chelan. Okay, we're out on Lake Chelan. I'm fishing with my brother Dave Graybill, and we're trying to come up with a nice Chinook. Uh, so one of the first things you want to do when you plan a trip up here is get your herring on a brine. We use uh, a Northwest Bait and Scent chartreuse brine and you'll see that the herring come out a really nice bright chartreuse color. Uh, they also firm them up nice and they last uh, really well when you're dragging them through the water. So, uh, number one, when you're going to rig your herring, is to check your hooks. I love this little hook hone. It's a diamond easy lap hook hone, and you can really touch up your hooks without eating up a lot of metal. So they're a great way to go. Uh, so, I tie my leaders on 20 pound test four carbon and I love this three aught gamagatsu coated hook for my lead hook. I have kind of a unique way of hooking up my herring that I learned oh eight or ten years ago and you get a really fast spin on them uh, and they last longer if you hook them up this way. So the trick is you take your hook and you want to go in right on the lateral line on the upside of the bevel. So if you look at that herring, you can see the cut is beveled. There's a bevel there, and then it's also beveled slightly from the back to the belly. I'm going to go right in on the lateral line, and I'm going to try to go straight through the herring and right out the other side, like so. So if it's hooked up correctly, it's going to just do like just like that. I like to you leave that other hook just trailing behind the herring. So the real key to this is you don't have just one pull point on the herring, which is up by the backbone normally. You've got two pull points. And uh, you'll get a really fast, tight spin with this rig up. If it's not working right, just fiddle a little bit with hook placement, and you'll figure out right where you want to be for a super nice, tight spin. On your brine, Rick, how long do you, uh, is there a certain measurement, or are there directions on it? But how far in advance of your fishing trip do you want to get your herring in that brine? So if you buy the Northwest Bait and Scent Chartreuse brine, there will be instructions right on the label. And you want to follow those instructions. But there's a couple critical things. First, you want to thaw your herring before you plug cut them. And you do that so that uh, when you cut them you're not mashing them, you're actually getting a nice precise clean cut. You want to have a really ultra sharp knife when you do that and then uh, plug cut them, remove the gut sack from the herring body and then put them in the brine. You want to brine them at least 24 hours before you go fishing for them to really get that nice chartreuse color to them and then also keep them very cold and you'll end up with some really good bait. 